lấy mẹ con đi xuất gia tu học kể từ đây lạy mẹ con đi bước theo ánh đào tự bi nghĩa ăn của mẹ tròn đời con không quên lạy mẹ con đi cách xa gia đình kể từ đây vào nhà như lai tiếng tô tám nghiệp tình thánh mai sau trở về lời là cho thế nhân mẹ ơi con good afternoon ladies and gentlemen it is 4:45 p.m. texas time Today is Wednesday, April the 7th, 2021. We are in the main praying hall of the Amatut village in Conroe, Texas. I am Master Tom Lai, sending my dear greetings to Buddhist followers who do not have enough blessings to come for the ceremony of honoring the Jizo statue in the Tibetan temple. The Tibetan temple will become a place where we perform memorial services for Buddhist followers who have passed and will perform funeral services. Behind it is the cemetery. During the past year, because of the pandemic, I had not been able to return here. I couldn't even return during the new year. It has been three to four months since the new year. I will take the time to give instructions and teachings to the villagers to motivate you to practice. The reason for tonight's preaching is because there is a young man from Alabama who wants to take refuge with Buddhist monkhood. This is the second time this young man stays at our village. His name is Trung, and his Buddhist name is Kuang Long, meaning the big dragon. The rumor said that he is also Catholic. Isn't that right? Kuang Long you already told Mrs. Diotian and some other villagers the reason for your ordination, but you haven't told me yet. This sermon is a spiritual gift for you, and at the same time, I also like to dedicate the merit of this preaching for everyone. Because Kuang Long wants to take refuge with Buddhism, I need to give this preaching explaining the merit of taking refuge with Buddhist monkhood to redeem the bad karma and avoid creating more bad karma. This is the topic that we need to be clear. In the Book of the Merit of Renunciation, during the time of Buddha, which many of you have read it many times, this book has been available in the Buddhist system for a long time, and almost everyone has read it. In this book, the Buddha did not talk about those who pretend to be Buddhist monks for their own benefits. The Buddha just discussed those who ordinated themselves or help others to ordain or encourage others to ordain. The merit of doing this is immeasurable. In the book, there is a passage that mentioned that the merit of restoring vision for a hundred blind people is not as much as encouraging one person to ordain. 
Do you think the merit of healing for a hundred blind people is little? In the old days, when I read this passage, I was not convinced because if you restore vision for one blind person, you are obviously a master of medicine. Now, if you can cure 100 blind people, you will be famous as a god of medicine. Unlike Master Huang Yin, because Huang Yin is no longer a great medicine man. I was very curious and asked my master. He then asked me how long the recovered eye sight would last after that blind person got treated. I responded, for about a hundred years. My master asked me again, when one hundred years has passed, the physical body has degraded away. Would the cured eyes still be bright or not? I said, of course not. If a person is immersed in a sea of lust, who does not know that life is impermanent and Buddha's teaching, and they obtain any level of Dharma enlightenment, such as the first level of Tu Dan Huan, the second level, Tu Dan Ham, the third level, A Nam Ham, and the fourth level of Amartet or Bodhisattva, they will be able to help other sentient beings. Even if none of them have obtained any level, and being a modern monk, they can still help others to open their wisdom. Will that eye of wisdom be lost? The eye of wisdom do not lose. So merit to open a wisdom eye is a hundred times more than healing the eye of flesh. Do you understand? I sincerely want to explain the merit of ordaining in monkhood very carefully and thoroughly for you. In the past, I was very busy. So those who were ordained in the past before you did not have thorough instructions. Why does ordaining create merit? I need to prove clearly, like one plus one is two. I have proved the reborn in the pure land in the past, and you all have seen it. Right, but I haven't proven the merit of ordination. Now, I want to ask Buddhist follower Kuang Long whether he wants to be ordained or not. It is a very important ceremony in your life that will create blessings for you and those who listen to this ceremony and want to be ordained without Buddhist monkhood. As well, the merit will be generated from now on, and it will be circulating on the global internet until the day I am no longer in this world. This preaching session will save a lot of people. Once again, I like to dedicate the merit to you, so that you will have enough predestination to become a monk. Of the dumb wind system. Let me ask you another question: Are you a layman? Did monk, which monk, did you take refuge with to give you the Buddhist name as Kuang Long? Is it true that you want to be ordained to transfer the merit for your parents? There are many people who said that I waste so much money, gowns, and cassocks. For organizing short-term monkhood because they do not believe or see any benefits at all. So now let me prove it. Thankful there is one person from Las Vegas. Are you here or not? Please raise your hand. Her name is Tan Tuan, 
and her Buddhist name is Wei Duin. A few months ago, during the pandemic, Wei Duin asked me in panic. She asked me if I will organize any short-term monkhood. I told her not for a while because of the pandemic. Wei Duin told me that her husband was around forty years old and healthy, but upon an examination, the doctor informed that her husband is a stage four cancer along with some other illnesses. The doctor said that her husband will not make it. Wei Yun wants to know if I have any ways to save her husband. She wants to be ordained to save her husband. I know that she went to the system many times, but her husband hasn't even been to the doorsteps of the temple. She was talking and crying at the same time. I told her that the only way left was to be ordained as a Buddhist monk, even for a short period of time. I would ordain him for seven days, but she had to tell her husband to do it with sincere diligence because it is stage four cancer, and it is the ending. The doctor said that her husband would soon die. So I told her to shave his hair. Then I would ordain him. I asked her where she got the gown and the cassock of a novice monk, and she said it was their daughter. In the past, everyone's family did not allow their child to practice monkhood. Wei Duan brought the airplane tickets to attend the assembly, but everyone was against it. However. The grandmother loves her daughter very much, so the father and grandmother had to let her go. This time, she told her grandma, grandmother, that she would not shave her hair, but she also shaved her head when she got here. So this little girl gave her cassock and robe to her father to wear. The one who faced death like Prince Dong Quin. Would ordain with with their sincerity. <laughs> As you remember in the book, the merit of renunciation, there was a story about the prince named Dong Quin, who has friends, who was friends with the vulnerable Anna. The Buddhists informed him that he has only seven days to live. The prince still lived with his concubine for six more days, and he was ordained on the last day. Your husband was facing death. What are your husband's condition now? He has already recovered, and all the testing results indicated that he's back to normal. So why was ordaining for seven days can have a miraculous result? Because when facing their death, one's mind would be very sincere. On the other hand, the rest of you enter the short-term monkhood, like following fashion. Isn't that right? You obtain the first one, the second one, the third assemblies, and more, without any motivation. I wanted to teach this fellow Kuang Long, and I don't know where to get the topic until this afternoon, when Wei Duan came to greet me. You can already see the concrete evidence is here. Short-term cultivating is receiving the precept via online for seven days for chanting and reciting Buddha's name. But the result is unspeakable. Why is that? It's because of the sincere mind. When the doctor has given up, what would you do? Cling to Buddhism. Like in the old days when I knew that I had only three months to live, I clung 
to the Honorable Tuyen Hua and did whatever he told me to do. And at that time, my mind was very sincere. So you can see solid evidence in real life. Wei Duyen's husband came to the United States at the age of five. He did not know Vietnamese, but he wrote the Earth Stored Sutra. Quang Long, how old are you? You are 38 years old now. You should know that you will not live for 100 years old. Human life, as long as one single breath. Please look at the altar and you will see that it is not only the old that die, but it is also the young. So we must face the impermanence. What is the reason for you to be a Buddhist monk? Your mother worked for the slaughterhouse. Your father worked as a fisherman. Your family line also has created a lot of bad karma. Unfortunately, you have predestined to come to the three Dharma jewels. You found your faith after you watched the Muglian Dian D movie and saw the scene of hell. Therefore, you vow like the earth-stored Bodhisattva. Why did you come to this assembly? But none of my loyal disciples did not. They probably wanted to make more money. In addition, you also volunteered to work in the earth-stored shrine. Tomorrow morning, after we chant the Samaga Sutra from 5.30 a.m., to 6.30 a.m., we will head directly over to celebrate the statue of the earth-stored Bodhisattva. I will give you the novice monk precepts in the shrine as well. At that moment, you will be able to save your family. I assure you that. You should vow from now on into the day of becoming a Buddha. If any of your family member hasn't been saved, you will not become a Buddha. You will have to cultivate to save them. So will all the chickens, ducks, and fishes that were killed by your parents because of their line of work. You have to dedicate the good merits for these animals as well, not just for your parents. Isn't that correct? At that moment, you make vows and are recognized by the, by the earth stored Bodhisattva. You will be shaken. It will be a very good thing because you make a sincere vow. However, do not forget your vows as your life becomes flourished like Master Tui Mu. When he was suffering, when he obtained, once life got better, his parents took him away from the temple and he eventually returned to regular life. So I have to tell you clearly that you have to keep your vows to save your family line. As you can see, Hui Dun's husband never came to see me nor set foot inside this temple when he was healthy. As a matter of fact, he groaned when his wife went to the temple. But because he loved his child so much, and the child wanted to go, so he couldn't stop his wife. In the end, when he got cancer, stage four, she then called me to ask for help. I know that is a blessing to let people ordain with Buddhist monkhood. I ordained hundreds of disciples, but no one has the same heart as her husband because he is now facing death. I also dedicate the merit of this preaching for your parents to end the karma and not return to suffer, and you can continue the path of Dharma. Is your husband's faith still strong? Is he still complaining when you go to the temple or not? Does he give you money or not? Do Etienne really want to know that? Many people despise the merit of entering short-term monkhood because I was too busy and failed to explain it in detail. 
cultivating the Buddhist monkhood because repaying, repaying, repaying your wife, your parents' sacrifice, is a righteous cause. At this very minute, your parents are already enjoying the merit. If you vow to save and pray for your parents to be reborn in the pure land of Amitabha Buddha, you should make the vow and dedicate yourself because your physical body was made by your parents. I want you all to remember this clearly. This body is created by your parents, but the karma. Is created by you. All your parents want. All parents want their children to be beautiful. Parents who have five children, they want each child to be beautiful, but the child, but the children, are not all beautiful, as their parents wanted. Did you ever notice that? All of you who our parents must not misunderstand that the body is created by the parents. Parents are the predestined conditions for us to be reborn. But being ugly or beautiful, boy or girl, that is based on your karma. Remember that a parent cannot create ugly or beautiful. Parents always want their children to be beautiful, but because of the children's past karma, it has created the physical appearance from the four elements. I have advice for you: when you announce to leave home and ordain here, many conflicts will take place to prevent to prevent you immediately. I foresee this. Have you ever had any relationship? Or girlfriends, please answer truthfully so that I can guide you. So you have a few relationship. Please tell them truthfully, so I will be able to guide you to pay off that karma. If you can't remember exactly the number of relationships, that means you had a lot of them. Do you have any unwed children? It is good that there are no children. Then, do you ever are in a relationship that your and her parents have met to discuss? No. So that means you haven't had, you haven't known the marital suffering. Love is only beautiful before the marriage. Do you guys agree with me or not? Please ask those who already married. When they haven't been married, they said their relationship was so beautiful. After marriage, they must withstand the bad things of their spouse. Before the wedding, they only saw the good things, not the bad ones. And we could easily accept whatever you want. Your spouse would happily provide. After marriage, you have to beg for your needs. Please ask people who have entered married life if they are completely happy with their marriage or not. Please show me if you find anyone. On your right is Mr. Hao. On your left is Mr. Hong. And behind you is Tian Hui. Those people are married, so you can ask them. Please think carefully if you decide on the path to repay the filial pity for your parents. Do not go on the husband and wife path, because when your wife loves you, she will share the love for you from your parents. When a woman loves her husband, she only wants her husband to love her. The man is also like that. I must say that to be fair. When the husband loves their wives, they only care about their wives, not the entire in-laws. So you are a free man now. But 
Are you really free or not? Going to this Buddhist assembly requires permission from any girl or not. I see you just ask permission from your boss. That is nothing to worry about because there are many nail salons for you to work in. So, what is the real obstacle preventing you from entering the monkhood? monkhood? Life is very short. You go to sleep today but may not wake up tomorrow because of a heart attack. Our life is very impermanent. What is the reason that you want to be a Buddhist monk for a long time? But have not been able to fill your will to repay your parents' sacrifice. Oh, I see. Because you promised your sister to help her buy a house and a younger brother in Vietnam to get married. Do you have a house or not? Are you married or not? You don't have a wife. You don't have a house. And you want to do this for the others. That is too much of a promise, don't you think? Someone like t u y e n Hoi should be able to do it because he is already married and he owns two to three houses. Let me tell you this do not let that interfere with your destiny of being reborn in the pure land realm. For example, if you are in jail, can your sister who you help? Buy a house. Be in prison for you? Of course not. Now you have to work a lot more to make the extra money. The client's nail is not broken. But you have to break it so that you can make a little more cash. Every day passes and you create a little more bad karma. Who will redeem that bad karma? You or your sister? How often will you and her will be sisters and brothers? Just this life only. With a family that created so much bad karma from killing, your mother butchered the chicken and ducks to raise you and your sister. Do you think that you and your sister also share a part of this mother's karma? Your father worked as a fisherman. He killed 100,000 fishes. Those fishes carried millions of eggs in their bellies. You guys grew up by those killings and also create your own bad karma. Let me tell you clearly if your brothers and sisters love you so much, ask them to go with you when you die. Will they do that for you? Of course not. They probably asked you to put on a hex. They probably asked me to put a hex on for you. Brothers and sisters only meet each other once. It might take millions of lives to be brothers and sisters again for the second time. Buying a house is the issue of common life, and it will be vanished when the heart stops beating. To be a Buddhist monk, to pay the filial pity and help your parents be reborn in pure land realm versus helping your sister buy a house, which one is more important? You use the excuse of helping your sister to buy a house to delay the destiny or make your sister suffer immeasurable karma. Because the younger sister wanted his brother to help her with money. And hindered the reborn in the pure land process. In the past, an Arhat walked by a cow and smiled. His disciple asked him why he smiled, and he replied because he remembered 91 Maha Kopas ago, when he was about to be ordained while he was still married, he asked the Buddha of that era to accept him, and the Buddha told him to have approval of his parents. Only parents have the right to prevent us from entering the monkhood, not wives and not children. He told, his, he told his wife, his son, to cling on his leg because she was afraid his parents would let him go. The child came over to hug his leg and said if he left, 
his child would bite his own tongue to death. Because of that reason, instead of becoming a Buddha, he still stayed as just a monk. And the child in that life re reincarnated as a cow for ninety-one markalpasas. A markalpas is one point three million years, and the child was still reborn as a cow. So, because of this, I guarantee that when you make enough money, something else would happen to stop you. A predestination of cultivating. To repay your parents, feel our pity for the bad karma of killing a Jizo Buddhista. Buddhistaba is a wonderful vow. If you haven't made your vow of cultivating and living like an ordinary person, nothing will affect your brothers and sisters at all. I ask you for the obstacle preventing you from becoming a Buddhist monk is because you promised to help your sister to buy a house. And to help your younger brother get married, the fate of these two people have collapsed because preventing someone from cultivating will cause condemning for countless eons. I heard there is another reason preventing you from entering the temple. It is because of health insurance. Is that right? If that is the case, I will personally pay for your health insurance. Two weeks ago, I recently got Part A and Part B Medicare because I have to pay a penalty every year for being uninsured. Because of the pen penalty, I had to get Medicare. I told them that I don't see any doctors at all, and they said the U.S. law requires anyone over 65 must have health insurance, whether whether I see a doctor or not. Each year, I have to pay the pen penalty. And now I have to pay one hundred and forty dollars and something for Part B. I have only seen the doctor twice, and ever since I came to the U.S., the first time when I was a newcomer from Refuge Island, and the second time when Dr. Gia took me to get a CT scan. The first time was free because I was a refuge in the early nineteen eighties. The second time, I was examined by Dr. Jia. Don't worry, just cultivate, and sickness will go away. Cultivators will always be okay. Wei Duan, does your husband have health insurance? However, in the end, did health insurance save his life? No, it was Buddhism that saved his life.